is who we have here. It's my pleasure to be here with Christelle. I've seen Christelle's YouTube videos. Uh -huh. I've been following her channel yes. with all the other African mm -hmm. YouTubers. And this has been a good week. Guess what? He noticed me. Maybe I'm doing something. Yeah. Yeah. Something Maybe very I'm doing good. something yeah. and I'm yeah. really, really grateful. Yeah. yeah. So, like, how are you feeling? How is Togo? Tell us. Togo, Togo has been good. Especially the food. Uh -huh. The people are really good. Uh -huh. Service is on point. You see? So when you I know? tell you guys Togo is the place to be. Yeah, no, no, you are no, here from here. Yeah, because in this week I've been in Ghana, yes. I've been in Benin, and I've been in Lome. And I must say, Lome is tops. The Ooh, food, so. the service, <laughs> the friendly people. People actually make an effort to speak English. I know, right? You know, <laughs> which you don't find in a lot of other places. You yeah. go to Tanzania. They will not speak English, they will only speak Swahili. <laughs> exactly. In Lome, people make the effort. Uh, exactly. And they are really nice people. So, will you consider settling in Togo? Well, yes. If you were to really well, not set, no, not certain because I need to find a job and I don't speak French. I know, right? But, like, can you, will you consider investing in Togo? Yeah. As an African? Yeah, of because, course. Because, you know, there are, uh, there, are, there are people abroad who are, like, willing to move and they are, like, maybe. They are considering Togo, but not really sure. Yeah. So can you really encourage somebody to move to Togo and do something? Yeah, I would, I would. Because from the from the time I've spent here, I would say in the service industry, yeah. there's a lot of opportunity. <laughs> and people actually go out and expect good service. And I it gets know, delivered. Right? So I see an opportunity there. And I see there's a lot of uh, real estate development as well. Exactly. All over. Exactly. Especially from the port area going towards... Yeah. Uh, Aneho area, restaurants, real estate, it's looking and, good. you know, hotels like this, like if you have the money and, you know, you can put in, if you, if you can put in money um, in something like this across the beach, you can really get clients, you know, because like, Togo is a beautiful place, you know, here it's clean, everybody is, is calm, very little crime rate, Food is awesome. The people are welcoming. Like, why were you not meant to be in Togo? Yeah, <laughs> it's really amazing. So, and since, I just I, I must add, since you talked about along the beach, yeah, I saw a lot of land uh -huh. going driving towards uh, uh, the border with like Italy. a vehicle. So, is yeah, it yeah? Is like it available? Empty. Can people buy or Definitely. it's all taken? I, I think it's available. Mm. If you see the empty lands, I think it's available, and you know it's always up on the market and. Even there are properties that are already constructed, you know. Mm -hmm. People are building across the beach and they are selling. Yeah. Yeah, so it's always available and if people are ready to buy, like, you know, something that is already made like this mm -hmm. and they are selling. Yeah. So we are at the Marcelo Beach Hotel now. Yeah. I did a vlog this morning. <laughs> this vlog was inspired and prompted by Christelle oh. and Wodemaya. I was with Wodemaya two days ago. And Still he and Christelle, have, can you imagine? I know, how right? Big <laughs> I know. So they prompted the vlog this morning, and uh, it's beautiful here. And oh, I'm wow. saying to all my friends, if you want to come to Lome, come here. I mean, come to Marcelo Beach because know, right? this is what I know, and, wow. and I like it. I like the place though; it looks very clean and beautiful. So, like, have you had anything um, like locally made in Togo in terms of food? Yeah. Um, I forget the what name. What did you try? Was I it forget. Akume? I don't know. You know Was the... Like you no, know, in Ghana, they call it... Uh, Ademe. I don't know what they call it. Uh, That's it. It's the same. The leaves, right? Yeah. With the some leaves. bamboo, yeah, yeah. like yeah. Akume. Yeah. And did you enjoy it? The yeah. onion and the pepper, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yesterday we had... Um, well, that's not Togolese, but it's, it's specially prepared the uh, poisson braise, mm -hmm. the grilled yeah. fish in town. Poisson braise. Yeah, in the town. Camarillas like this a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was good. Uh, we had like some it. abolo. 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 You know, in yeah. Ghana, they call it abolo. Uh, white. Is it the white food that is quite sweet? In yes, yeah, sweet. You make from yes, maize. Yes, I like it yeah. so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like cake, you know? Yeah. But it's void. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that was good. Yeah, so the food, food, yeah, so, food has been good, and know, there's a lot of vegetables. Exactly. A lot of greens. So if you are abroad and you are looking forward to visit any place, you know, always consider Africa, consider yeah. Togo, consider Ghana. You must not go to Miami or I don't know yeah. Dubai. Togo has it, Ghana has it, and you know, 
Benin, all these beautiful African countries along the coast. Yes. It's worth it. Come and see for yourself. Yeah. You can see Crystal, you should, you should also... I mean, we go, this is actually golden beaches. I know, right? You, know, you don't need to go to Miami for this. You can save some money, yeah. come here, spend less, enjoy the beach, I nice know, right? people, healthy food. Why not? Exactly. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's really amazing to be here talking to you. And talking to you, it's my honor. It's my honor to be with you. Are you sure? Yeah, of course. Of course. I don't know, I doubt my son, but which is not no, no, good. No. Yeah, no, so. I mean, I'm watching. I'm watching your channel. Uh -huh. My friends are watching your channel, Ooh. and I told my. I was talking to somebody in the reception today. I said, "You need to follow Crystal's channel." He said, "Who is Crystal?" Just so she went there. She said, "Wow, she's got so many followers. Ooh. I need to follow her, and she's going to tell her friends." Wow, you see, so you know, little drops of water makes an ocean. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. I, I'm, I'm really happy. I'm getting recognition from people. You know, like. When I started this, I didn't believe in myself that I could actually do it, but you know. No, no, I think I think you're making an impact because I watch your channel. Uh -huh. You know, those walks through the neighborhood, yeah. going to the markets. You know, people watch it, or I watch it, yeah, and I actually how, have it. It's like I'm there. Yeah, to, you know. You know, exactly. Like, I really appreciate somebody doing this in my hometown in Cameroon, you know. If you I could, like. Do it. I think it's going there. <laughs> You need to. I know somebody you need to take there yeah. and you'll get it done. The person know, is right? sitting across from us. You need to take him there and do the videos there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That's my bucket list. I will definitely do it. Yeah. You know, sometimes I, I can come back here, sit and watch and be like, oh, this is my home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we are really happy. And guess what? He's starting a channel as well. Yeah. And uh, his channel link is going to be in the description in case. Yeah, so you. you just click and subscribe, you know, he does like amazing vlogs around Africa in general, not only Ghana, not Togo, not Benin, like he's into adventures and, yeah. you know, please follow him, comment on his video, like, you know, subscribe, you know, help the African community. It's our time to rise, rising to, to fall no more, yeah, so thank you guys very much, like. Can I add something to that? So my channel is basically based on adventure. Mm -hmm. I'm not a YouTuber, YouTuber. But For me, it's more of a pastime. But YouTuber, YouTuber soon. Yeah. And <laughs> the things I know about is travel, uh -huh. adventure, yeah. cycling across uh -huh. Africa. Because yeah. I cycle in, in Ghana, in Togo, everywhere, and in the US. Yeah. So there are going to be a lot of cycling, mm -hmm. adventure stuff from the US and from Africa. But Africa is the place to be. That's why we are here. I know, right? But if you are coming to Togo or Ghana at this time of the year, remember it's Hamatan and it's hot. hot. It's like dusty and hot. hot. That's yeah. why I this. And this voice now. We're used to it. I know, right? You know? We are, we are immune. Like, we don't catch all these things anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so behind our, our camera we have... Can I have the camera, please? <laughs> Say hello to the channel. Hello. Mm -hmm. Thanks for filming us. That's my lovely husband behind there. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. <laughs> the one you are taking to Cameroon very soon to do your. He took me from Cameroon. <laughs> so you take him back to do your vlogs? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. It was really yeah. amazing talking to you. See you on YouTube. I well, know, we right? There, right? We are already there. See you on my channel. And we are going to Asigame. Guys, please. We are going to Asigame after this video. So, you know, watch, comment, like, and share. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And we are having a very good... Already. <laughs> yeah. This is gorgeous. This is Marcelo Beach breakfast. Awesome. You can use my plate if you want to. <laughs> Where is your camera, though? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -huh. I'm filming Hello, and is filming me. Definitely. Mm. So we're going to walk on the beach now. Yeah, we are along the Marcelo Beach, yeah. which is like one of the most beautiful places here in Togo. Let's go and see the clean beach and everything. Look at the, the buildings. You know, traditionally made. Really awesome. And the, the, the garden is perfectly manicured. Eh? I know, right? The trees and the palms, everything is like with wood, you know. That's one thing I've noticed here. Everything is done with wood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. These are wow. Teak. Nice teak poles. 
Yeah. And here we are. Somebody is up there in the. I don't know. No, are they it fishing? looks like there's somebody there. Yeah. It, there's, it's not a person. Oh, you mean on the boat? Yeah. yeah, yeah the person the boat, is fishing, yeah. I think. Yeah. Multiple people. See, this. They are fishermen, though. Very close to the port. Yeah. So we are happy. To be <laughs> Yeah, so we are just having fun here. You, you all can see, like, the fish here is amazing. Beautiful, clean. Look at this now and tell yourself. Look at this. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Golden fish. I know, right? Oh, exactly. Yeah, so if, if you are moving to Kodo and you are looking for a very clean place to stay, I would really, really recommend this hotel. They will not harass you, but if you just go there alone, ah, they might seize your camera. Off. And especially when you don't know the language, mm. you cannot even you know. I was thinking of renting a car, mm -hmm. and then I thought that if the gendarme stop me, and yeah, the gendarme says, "Je ne, je ne parle anglais." And me to say, "Je ne parle pas français." Je ne parle français. Then what are we going to do? Exactly. Yeah. So we are walking to Asigame right now. <laughs> walking, we, are, we are not walking from Marcelo to Asigame. Right? But we can still walk though. <laughs> How far is it? But it's quite far. A few kilometers. 